Christina here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make whole wheat bread. I have 500 grams of wheat flour, which is about three and three quarter cups. I have uh, five grams of instant yeast, and that's about one and three quarter teaspoons. I'm gonna put that in here. I have some salt, 7.5 grams of salt, which is about one quarter of a teaspoon. I'm gonna put that in here, and then you're gonna mix it all together. Uh, now, an optional ingredient you can use is honey, about 35 grams of honey, which is about one tablespoon plus two teaspoons of it. I tried to use honey, well I did use honey in one of the breads, and I found that it didn't really uh, make much of a taste difference. So I'm not going to be using honey in here, but you can if you want to. And then I mix all the dry ingredients up, we're going to pour the water in, and I have 360 grams of water, which is about one and two thirds cup of water. And I'm just going to mix it all up and, oh, oh, there's a baby downstairs. I think you probably just heard that. I'm mixing it up right here and we're going to knead the bread on a floured surface. I have a little bit of wheat flour in here that I'm going to sprinkle down on the, on my counter here. And we're going to scrape out this dough. And you want to knead it for 10 minutes. I have my timer that I'm going to set for 10 minutes right here. And this shaggy clump of dough will come together in a beautiful dough ball in about 10 minutes. So we'll be back at the end of 10 minutes. <laughs> clump of flour, water, yeast, and salt, and now after 10 minutes of kneading, kneading we have a nice, um, beautiful little ball. So now what I have is I have a bowl here that I just drizzled about a teaspoon of olive oil on the bottom, and what I do is I take my fingers and I just um, grease the side of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl. Just want to put the dough ball now in a grease bowl, like that, and then use a scraper to lift it up and put it in there and then we cover it. So you could use the lid of a pot, plastic wrap, a cloth. You know me, I love the easy shower curtain method. Boom, right there. I'll see you back in two hours. All right, we are back and it's two hours later. And as you can see, the dough um, almost filled its bowl up. So we are good to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put it on our surface and we're gonna shape it. It's not going to be too difficult to shape since it's in a beautiful ball anyway. So I'm just taking my scraper, just putting it out right here. And the way I scrape it is I just take the dough ball and you can do it a few different ways. You can turn it, um, what is this, clockwise? Or you can just take your hands and I'll show you what it looks like. Your hands just go like this so you keep the blades of your hands on the surface of the of your, of your counter or whatever, your table, and your hands just go in a counterclockwise motion and the dough will form a ball just like that. And that's what I'm going to do. And you just kind of nudge it. You don't have to squeeze it or push down. After that, I'm gonna put it on the baking tray lined with parchment paper. We're gonna cover it with a towel we're gonna let it do the second rise for 45 minutes. So I have my timer here. I'm gonna set it for 45 minutes. But 30 minutes before the end of your second rise, you're going to heat the oven to 450 degrees. All right, it's been 45 minutes and this looks ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven uh, at 450 for 10 minutes only. And after 10 minutes is up, I'm going to reduce the heat to 400 and bake it for 25 minutes more. I'm gonna say that again. Here we go, yeah. 
I'm going to bake it in the oven at 450 for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, reduce the temperature to 400 and bake it for another 25. Okay, here we go. That's my 10 minute timer. I'm going to lower the heat. Lots of beeping here. Okay, 400 degrees, 25 minutes. I can smell the bread already. Yay! Do you like to eat mommy's bread? No. What do you mean? Yes, you, you do? do. Timer's off. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, everybody, here is the bread. I'm about to cut into it. Oh my gosh. And this is what it looks like in there. And it's still steaming. I don't know if you can see the steam, but there's little holes. It is absolutely yummy. And then what I do is I just cut it in half like this. Cut it like that. Well, if you're not going to eat it all tonight, <laughs> then what you can do is just slice it all, put it in a baggie, and then put it in the freezer, and then toast it as you, um, as you want it. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like these, and ciao for now. Do you want some almonds? Nope. No.